I've got a total of 10 mystery boxes from the company Chrono Toys. Each one of these boxes was $15 a piece shipped out the door. Warning, not for private use and for mail only. So these were used for my mail to drop off my front porch and I'll be returning these. I won't be keeping these because not for private use. I'm not trying to go to jail for keeping white postal service totes. So total of 10 in here. Each one is, like I said, 15 bucks a piece. Um, every week, Chrono Toys has this thing called the Chrono Challenger Series where they just sell you pretty much a common pop with the chance to get out something better than a common pop. You can get out some exclusives, some chases. Every single week, there's always a couple that are like grail type of pops each, 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 or each week. And I think a few weeks ago, maybe, I got out something that was like one of the better hits out the first time ever from, from their boxes. So that was exciting. So we're going to try 10 more boxes. So all 10 of these were $150 from Chrono. And with these, pretty much, if you get out at least like one that's not a common, that's kind of a victory, honestly. It's kind of a victory. I know there was one video in the past, I'm not sure if I ever talked about this, but I bought a total of 10 of these boxes, and all 10 boxes was the exact same Funko Pop. I received 10 boxes, all 10 of them had in the Michael Jordan common Funko Pop out of every single box. That video, I actually didn't even bother editing that video, uploading it because it was such a terrible video. So, but they do say that you can get doubles, but that time I got 10 of the exact same pop in every single box. So that was, that kind of stunk, but it can happen. First one, I think these all come in protector, uh, soft protectors. Oh, nope, disregard, they do not, this one does not. So I'm sure if this had any kind of value, then it would be in, in a protector, but this is not in protector, so it's probably not worth much. Back to the Future, a Marty McFly. Not a bad one, I don't think it's worth very much though. I'm not sure if it's, if it's even vaulted or not. If it was worth anything, it'd be in a soft protector. But, it's not bad. First one, you know, I mean, it's not, not too terribly bad. That's not a bad common to get out. Cause so I think the, when I got the one that was like better than a common, actually it was in a soft protector at least. So yeah. So if there's no soft protector, then yeah, it's nothing great. So this, once again, nothing great. We got Namor the Submariner. This is one of the new Marvel Pops that came out for the 80 year anniversary thing. Okay. So first two, pretty much two commons. I'm pretty sure that, that Marty McFly, that's just, that's just pretty much a common pop. Next, we still got eight more to go. There's still that slim chance of hope of something. No soft protector, so, oh, I saw it. So we got the Hot Topic exclusive, Jon Snow with that bloody face. I think it's actually worth like what, like 15, 20 bucks or so I think, in that range, maybe. Eh, not a bad one. Next. At the end of this video, we'll go through, look at prices, see how well I did or, you know, how much money I lost. Next one. No soft protector. We've got Phantom of the Opera Movie Monster. This is from 2014. That is an older one. I've never really looked much into this monster set to really know value of any of them. I know some of them go for some decent money. I'm not sure if this is one of them or not. I mean, first four aren't bad though. Not bad. 
Nothing big though, as far as I know. I don't think that Monsters is worth, it may, maybe it is. No soft protector again. We've got Aang with Momo, so not the chase version. Halfway complete. Come on, something big. I wonder if you can tell by weight on these things, because if there's a uh, soft protector, that'll add a couple more ounces onto this thing. Okay, this one, that's not bad. That's actually a decent one. Yeah, that's actually, this probably, this should have been into a soft stack. The Blue Lantern, uh, the Flash, this is like the metallic Blue Lantern. Fugitive Toys exclusive. I got this one out in the past, I think it's like, what, 30, 40 bucks or so, unless value's like plummeted on it. But that's not bad. Fugitive Toys, metallic, uh, Blue Lantern, the Flash. Okay, this one, no salt protector again. We've got My Hero Academia Deku, glow in the dark. That one just came out recently. Right now, I'm guessing the best hit is either going to be the Blue Lantern or that Monsters that might be like one of the more valuable monsters. No soft protector. Oh, that's bad. We got just a Fortnite pop. Most all these have gone on sale on the Hot Topic website for five dollars each right now. And then you, you can use your your uh, hot cash, get them for two fifty each. I'm not sure if this is one of them that's on sale, but most of the Fortnite are on sale right now on Hot Topic with hot cash. For uh, of course, by the time this actually goes up, the hot cash will be done. But this is available for two dollars and fifty cents right now. Most of the Fortnite pops. So that one's actually terrible terrible hit because those fortnite pops will not hold any kind of future value because they just aren't really that collected the game's popular but the pops aren't that really much collected uh soft protector nope no soft protector we got a uh, chigo and just a common one left come on chrono Soft protector? Nope. That's a cool one, though. No? We've got Luke Skywalker Jedi. So let's see some values. Let's see uh, how much money I lost, I think. First one, Luke Skywalker. It's actually halfway decent. It's not bad. It's actually worth $26. Ichigo. 10 bucks. Fortnite, 12 bucks. Deku, 15 bucks. Monster, this is actually a pretty good one. $31. Vaulted, 2014. This should have been in, in, in a soft protector. Like, seriously, a pop for 31 bucks? Throw it in a soft protector. Protect that thing, you know, during shipping. That's kind of crazy that they did not put it in a soft protector. Ang, 10 bucks. Submariner, it says it's 15 bucks. Coming soon. Actually, it hasn't really released yet, I guess. Marty McFly, 10 bucks. Jon Snow, 2016, $19. The Flash Blue Lantern Metallic, it is vaulted 2014. It's worth $36. That is the best hit. Grand total, all 10 pops, $184. I bought them for 15 or 15 bucks a piece, 150 ship. So I came up $34 more in value than what I paid. So I got more back. Top hit, Metallic Blue Lantern. Second hit was the Monsters. So not, not bad boxes. Um, I got, you know, every dime back that I paid plus more. So that's always a bonus for a mystery box when you don't lose anything because you can lose money on these boxes. So I will buy more Chrono Toys boxes next time they release these things. And we'll try again, try to get out that big hit next time so i'll see you soon funko bad guy out